Hello, and welcome to the podcast, podcast where we talk life, work, and occasionally music. My name is Switchblades for Kids, and the other half of the podcast? It's your boy, Blake Bentley. Hello. 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 How you doing? How's oh. it going? How are the kids? Hey, what's going on? Oh, how's it's been how's so work? Long. Oh. How's Miriam? <laughs> oh, it's not like we fucking talk like every other day. <laughs> yeah, literally every day. And, and then we also like talked for like, what, half an hour before the podcast? Yeah. We do it we every time. It. We, we do it every time. It. Like we should yeah. literally just hit record as soon. Well, no, we normally talk about stuff we don't actually want to. Uh, like we can't really say about. Yeah, yeah that's the, a good point. It's, yeah. in the, it's <laughs> in the internet. It's a big doxing if we Secret were to say all of that. Stuff. It's not even. It's not even. We would just dox the fuck out of ourselves. Like everyone would know exactly oh, yeah. who we are, where we are. Pin. They'd be able to just look at a map and be like, "Yep, there they yeah. are. Oh, <laughs> Two big fuckheads they're, they're right, right there. there. Time to get a Chinese spy balloon right over the top." <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, do you actually know what happened there? I saw a video no, on that. No, I got okay. no idea. Wasn't it just a weather balloon? It's a, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I heard of it. I, I wanna, I've seen pictures of it and it looks like a, like someone's rigged a solar dish or solar array onto a giant balloon that was apparently three buses long. Oh, okay. So it might it's have actually. big. Might have actually been a legitimate thing. Yeah. But get this. Get fucking this. Uh, Australia's foreign minister, I seen it today on the news. Australia's foreign minister says, uh, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Guess what oh. nationality Australia's <laughs> foreign minister is? <laughs> uh, oh, you go. better fucking believe she Chinese. <laughs> oh, she's not Australian. No. Oh. Uh, well, she's Australian, but she's Chinese Australian. So, Did of course, born here? maybe, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm never going that far into making a joke You're about like, this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never I trying to find research these things. I'm not taking I any chances. Okay? I would rather. I, I would just... rather have five percent truth and <laughs> <laughs> and have and fantastic satire. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Ninety-five percent funnies. Yeah. yeah, I'm with it. Don't and let the truth and... get in the way of a good story. <laughs> Dude, how you going? How you been? How's your week? Uh, good. Uh, oh, okay. My back right, still sweet. really, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> my back still really sore from the uh, workout on Dude, Saturday, which was great. I, I am fucked from the workout on Saturday. Really? I thought you said yeah. you were good last night. Uh, except my legs. Oh, but I think that's the, the three minutes of cycling. Oh, right. Yeah. No. Well, we did deads. I don't deadlift. Oh, yeah. That's the thing, and I don't, I don't do, I don't do leg workouts so much anymore because of my ankle that I need to go to a doctor and talk to her about. Um, For months just, now, Blake, you need to go to doctors. Look, something. I know, and I've be, I've literally <laughs> been to the doctors. All right, if this was if this was me, what would you say? If I've I've got a, a suspected broken or fractured ankle, and I've been telling you about it for months. Yeah, but it doesn't <laughs> hurt anymore. Cunt, you would be up my ass so much. You'd be like, just go to the fucking doctor. You have free medical. Hey, look. <laughs> the, you know what? All of Australia has free medical. Blank. <laughs> yeah, look, everyone. Bulk has billing, medical. baby. Look, I, I actually, I found Medicare. The I, I had to go get a health checkup for my um, income insurance and my life insurance, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, and I found a fucking good doctor. And I'm gonna go see him because he's lit and he's young and he was he had an Irish accent and I like the guy. Cool. And he tested my piss. <laughs> <laughs> I peed in a cup and he had to put something in it. And that's funny. Yeah. And I'd yeah. like to go back and see this man. Yeah. 100%. He reckons that me losing 35 kilos in the, like six months or whatever. He said that that was really quick. I was like, are you sure? Because I don't, I don't think it was that quick. Is that quick? Dude, yeah. Okay. I don't think it's that yeah. quick. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. quick. But how? But, but if all right, so break it down. What what is it? It's let me let me let me bust out a fucking calculator here. Well, I'm just guesstimating six um, months. I don't know how long it took. I think it was about six months, wasn't it? Wasn't it? If if I bust out the old calculator, how many how many weeks in six months? That's right, oh. six times four. Let's do that. Twenty four <laughs> weeks, right? Twenty four weeks. Divided and, by 35? Yeah, divided by 35. You know what? And we'll just say, you lost half a kilo every week. 
Oh, well, sorry, it says 0.68 kilo every week. Is that a lot? I think that's pretty good, man. I just, oh, wait, hold up. No, it's 35 <coughs> divided by 24. It's not the other way around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, right. Um, Yeah, dude, you lost... <laughs> It's like three times that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like it's you lost like one and a half kilos every week. Ah, that's not too bad. That's fucking ridiculously fast, man. Usually losing a kilo a week is fucking like you're you're pushing it. Mm. But I'm guessing there was like obviously differences in like water weight and obviously the shock yeah, to the system of probably, like probably like no. oh we're we're gonna do some work now okay cool well, I'm not ready and then it's like See, goes into crazy survival mode or whatever the fuck yeah. I don't know really know how fat loss works I don't neither do I all I know is calories in calories out you just want to have less calories in than you have going out and you're fine and you gotta yeah keep sort of adjusting for it as well mm. thank you Jeff Nippard for. Uh, finally putting this whole thing to like rest oh really yeah dude actually uh, wait you haven't seen that new one from Jeff no he basically explains that um yes calories in calories out mm. um plus a whole heap of other factors that yeah. will like ju- uh, like determine how much weight loss or weight gain you can sort of have or how hard it is to lose weight and how hard it is to gain weight mm. um he also uh, did another video where he explained uh, that your body will get used to losing weight. And so oh. you can be at a 500 calorie deficit, right? And be steadily losing to a point. And it like, when, when, it's, when your body's used to like being 500 calories in deficit, your body starts to be like, oh, well, that's, that's fine then. And then it starts to get really used to it. Is that what the right. plateau is? Like well, they've, they've always talked. There's people always talk about a weight loss plateau. Yeah, and it's it, well, it's basically like that. And they can they can be like, oh yeah, well, I'm only eating two thousand calories. Mm. And I was like, yeah, well, you your body got used to eating two thousand calories, mm. and so now you gotta you gotta cut a little bit more. And the way Jeff did it, he did his cut over like I think it was like fucking a year. Mm. And he lost like I think it was like thirty kilos or twenty kilos or something. It was something pr- pr- pretty in a year, very like good. I would say, mm. you know what I mean. Okay. Um, but it was it was the fact that he did it so slowly and so progressively that he didn't notice that he was like very like he knew that he was losing weight, but he didn't notice in the way he was eating. Yeah. So okay. he just he just he was like, well, I want to get like absolutely shredded, you know, like a like a shredded Caesar salad uh, in the end of the at the end of the year. So he was just like every, I think it was every two weeks. Sometimes the body can adapt really quickly mm. to weight. Uh, so not weight. Uh, it's <coughs> the calorie deficit change. Mm. So I can be like, the first the first day is okay, cool. I'm 500 calories down, and then it's the next day. It's like okay, cool. Well. I know that now, I, I you know, I'm going to be 500 calories down. Yeah. But but I'm going to hold on to I don't know an extra say whatever 50 calories. So mm. really, you're only in a 450 calorie deficit. I don't know how to really properly explain this. Yeah. The way yeah, he explains it, it's so it's like it's it basically means that after a certain amount of time, say you can do it for six weeks. I don't know if that's the the right time frame or anything, mm. but you stay on a six 500 calorie deficit for six weeks. By the end of that six weeks, it doesn't matter that you've got a 500 calorie deficit because your body has gotten used to it and it will just assume that you're at a zero calorie deficit. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah. Yeah. That's so weird. See, so I've you been have doing to keep adjusting more, it. Yeah. So I've adjusted it by doing way more cardio. So Because I do a 30 minute bike ride every day now. Mm-hmm. So I do somewhere between 10 and 13 k's depending on how fucking hard i ride because i so i i think it was 13 i think i hit 13 k's the other day in 30 yeah. minutes maybe it was 12 i don't know it was like somewhere between 12 and 13 k's in 30 minutes on a bike and i was pushing it man yeah like i was literally doing it in like sets so i would like jump the the resistance right up and it would literally be like you know just push 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 for like three minutes and then bring it down a little bit bit of a breather and then push 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 for like another three minutes and then back. Yeah, I was like, like almost a, doing like hit training yeah like I was almost. gonna say hit training yeah 
It's, it was almost like hit training, um, and it fucking wrecked me, man. And yeah. I did that on I did that on Friday, so before our workout. Yeah, I did that, and I just went absolutely fucking bonkers with it. And it was sick though. It, it was like I had a lot of energy. I had like a big breakfast. I was like I went to gym early because I had the day off. So mm. you know. I man, I love having Fridays off. It's fucking something else. Like, <laughs> it is something else. No kids, and and like it doesn't matter if Jackie's home or not because it's no kids. Yeah. So I'm like, man, I just get work done. It's great. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking nice. But um, yeah, that's I I don't know how we. I obviously I started talking about weight loss at some point. Oh, doctor. <laughs> doctor. Um, Man, yeah. we get derailed so easily. Very quickly. And very quick quickly, as hell. And, and like, and down a rabbit hole we go. Oh, man, before we know it, it's been 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Every um, time. Uh, yeah. Did you have, I, did you say you had something to talk about? Yeah, I did. And it, it, funnily enough, it goes back to uh, calorie deficit, weight gain. Um, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no because, shit. Um, I, I, uh, it would have been Saturday. So after we did our gym sesh, first mm. Saturday of the month, every month we're going and, and working out, twerking yeah. out. Um, we may we may change the gyms too from occasion. We might go to diff- try out different gyms. Yeah, There's no reason we can't try out different gyms, yeah. honestly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I um, also, also found out the base gym, We can't, me and you can't do it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, found out, I found out today. I was like, what if I just wanted to bring my mate on? He's like, is your mate in defense? I'm like, no. He's like, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, like, you want to bring your mate on the uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> like a restricted yeah. area? And and I and and I was just like, well, what if it was my missus? And and he's like, oh, well, she got a pass. I was like, well, no. And she's like, well, she's got to get a pass first, and then she can go on the, into the gym. I was like, but I can't get my mate a fucking day pass. And he's like. This isn't a local gym, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I put my life on the line. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you would be. Oh, fuck. That's very um, funny. Yeah, no. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely have to hit up another gym. Um, especially now that knowing this. And I, I tell you this, guys. Fucking, if you go to a gym only like once a week and you're like, oh, I don't want to pay for oh, a yeah. weekly membership fucking thing of like $17 or $20 that fucking world's gym was like hey man we'll give you a, a, a sweet deal man sweet deal 17 bucks a week and <laughs> I was like but we pay $20 and we come here once a month yeah. and, you, and you think we're gonna pay fucking $17 a week you're an idiot Trey Andre <laughs> you're an idiot <laughs> I can't remember his name Trey <laughs> I think it's I think Trey it's, Andre yeah I think that's what it was and um and um and then he's I think I think it's because we like we're like nah, man, we're, we're walking <laughs> yeah yeah it was we're just like back. all right all good no worries yeah. thanks man yeah and then he's like oh we've got these packs where it's like you know you buy five entries for fifty dollars it's like well bud yeah why did you speak start my language. with that you fucking yeah. madman we we literally started the conversation by him. saying yeah by by saying we come once a month can once we get month. it cheaper or something and he goes. Yep. Well, I have this plan here here's, now. Here's a it's, weekly fucking yeah, membership. It's eighteen dollars a, a week, and I was like, yeah. "Bud, we pay twenty dollars a month to come here once." Yeah, I was Why like, "It's would all I? good." Uh, that, and as soon as I said, "If you can make it five dollars or less a week, I don't want to hear it." Yeah, <laughs> and he's like, Ugh. "You know what? Ten dollars per entry is now so much better than oh, yeah. twenty dollars per month." It's half for us. Because if we're only going to go there once a month, we might as well fucking get five for fifty dollars and be like, "Oh, look at that! We just saved fifty dollars." It's literally it's, it's dude, half it's price half entry price. into World's Gym. That's you know right, funny? folks. You heard it here first. <laughs> you know what's funny? Half price well? entry. This is, I found yeah. this really funny because he was like, five for fifty bucks." He goes, "Or oh, ten <laughs> or a hundred. He did like, do that. He hundred percent did do that. I was, I was like. like that's the I just, same price, I phased bud. it out. I was like, yeah, I know, <laughs> man. Yeah. <laughs> Five for 50. Oh, wait for it. Dude. 10 for 100. It's Dude, like, if, brother. If he said like 10 for 80, oh, I'd be like, yeah. oh, I'm sold. I, mean, I would have cool. right then and there been like, okay, I'm getting 80 then. Yeah, it would have been like sick. Oh, yep. that's less 10. than $10 yeah. a visit. 100%. I'll pay yeah. it up front. Yeah, sweet. That's yep. what. 
<clears throat> like a fucking year's worth of visits. That's fine. You know, I'm gonna hit him up next if we see him again. It's like, hey, you said ten for eighty, right? It's like, oh no, no, no. It's like, well, wouldn't you wouldn't have said ten for a hundred? <laughs> you wouldn't have said ten for hundred because you said five for fifty. 50. <laughs> Why would you say 10 for 100 if it's 5 for 50? You, know, you had to have him. said 10 for 80. I'm 100% going to hit him with it. I was like, oh, you said 10 for 80. The, 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 don't fucking yeah. lie to me, all right? Don't you <laughs> fucking lie to me, Trey Andre, you and motherfucking then it's like, bitch. You know, it's like, you know what? It's oh, fine. We'll you. go to my gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Start to walk out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh. Customers, <laughs> the money, <laughs> money, 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 oh, money, 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 is that um, um? Is that what you wanted to talk about? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, right oh after the God. gym, after we berated Trey Andre <laughs> for for trying to fucking make five for fifty sound different than ten for a hundred. Um, I don't. What, why we were that? we? Yeah, exactly. Why? What's the point? Um, after that, you know, after we had brekkie and shit. I went home and I was like, okay, cool. We're going to have to do some, uh, I want to do some meal prep. And I looked up on YouTube. I was like, you know, I just typed in meal prep mm. and I wanted like, you know, just to find some things. It's all like calorie deficit shit. Everyone loves a good, um, like 500 calorie meal or a 400 oh, calorie meal man. sort of shit. Yeah. And it's just like, and then you look at it and you're like, okay, cool. This is chicken, rice and veg. Or sometimes I do like, uh, like a stir fry or fucking whatever. Really, yeah. I was like, "That's that's cool, that's cool." I'm not gonna. I, I don't really care about that. I want like some. I want some thick, bulking sort of fucking meals, some, right? Some thick cock. The same guy that offered me uh, buffalo chicken and rice, which mm. is absolutely fucking delicious at 600 calories, mm. um, also offered me uh, a thing called big boy chili. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Big boy chili. <laughs> and it's a thousand calories. Um, so much. And it, For it's, a meal prep, that's ridiculous. Bro, bro, and get this, get this. I, I got, This is another, like, I tell you what, I fucking hate these stories. But it leads to, it leads to like a good thing that I think is information that everyone should know. Mm. What, are, what kind of stories I fucking hate? Logistic stories. Oh, yeah. Where you go somewhere, you get something, you come back, and it's like, well, that's the story. Like, who gives a fuck? Who cares? Oh, I went somewhere, oh, you got stuck in traffic? Oh, who gives a fuck? Who cares? <laughs> who fucking cares? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, man. Mr. Angry Man. Oh, dude. It's it's rolled me up for so long. There's there's people that will just be like, oh, man, I was stuck in traffic for like fucking 30 minutes this morning. Like, Buddy, I fucking, I get on the scent. Uh, you know, anyway. Um... I go to Costco, and mm. what I see is ten dollar a kilo mints. Oh, dude, hell yeah! Yeah, right. Mm. Especially when fucking Coles and Woolies are trying to shaft you with like thirteen dollars for half a kilo. How about yeah. you suck me off? Okay. How about you suck me off the next station? Yeah, exactly. This so I grab my mints. <laughs> I fucking grab this. Uh, it says premium mints, so you know that it's like fucking 30, three star. 30, 70 fucking mints. You know what I mean? It's probably like um, three star or something. It, yeah, exactly. But you know what? That's great because I need more fats. You know, fats yeah. equals big calories. Um, so it's 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 that $10 a kilo, right? I fucking get, uh, I think it was like just a little bit of rice and like some veggies and shit like that, plus like a heap mm. of spices in there. It's... um. It, it all up, each meal, which I don't even know how to evenly just divide this because I, I put in like no. fucking, it was 10 meals, but I used two kilos of mince. Um, it was like, dude, it was actually fucking huge. It, in the biggest pot that I have, it mm. was right at the fucking top. No. <laughs> and I was Hell like yeah. carefully scooping this thing around trying to like mix Surely it. Surely you have like a giant pot that you cook hot dogs in. Yeah. Yeah, of like course. Giant, like, like. Wait, hold up. You mean, uh, wait, wait. Why would you cook hot dogs in there? What? You put them in like the water. red wieners. Yeah, you put them in hot water. I never actually. You know what? I don't cook hot dogs at home. I cook them at work. But oh, I on like them, a, on a grill. No, nah, no. Nah, well, at work we have these like big kettles, stand up kettles. 
that are like, I don't know, 10 litre kettles. You cook kettles. a hot dog in a kettle? It's called a kettle, but it's like a big <laughs> sil- silver cylinder that you just turn it on and it's like, it's a, bo- it's a, it's a big boiler. It's got its own, uh, it, it's called a kettle because there's already an element in it. You know what I mean? I don't know if I it, agree with this. It heats up at the bottom. It's a big silver cylinder. So I mean, you, you make your coffee your out of in. the same water. No, you fucking no, filthy because human. you mark it. You go wiener kettle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know? Continue with your story. It was right to the top. Oh, dude, it's, yeah, it's right to the top. It's like half a kilo of potatoes, half a kilo of onion. There was like a uh, quarter kilo of fucking capsicums in there. Um, heaps of spices. It's so fucking good. It nice. made 10 meals. Um, it's, and get this, the recipe even came with um, uh, this little like uh, cornbread muffin. That's 200 calories. So 800 calories for the, 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 the chili, which my God, it is fucking delicious. Mm. You, I, I add the cheese on top of the already frozen meal like you know like it, it's not already frozen when we no when it's yeah uh, so you freeze it you open it up you sprinkle cheese on it put it in the microwave no oh when we cooked it and we we served it up we let it cool down for a little bit then we chuck cheese on it and then we closed up the lid and put them in the freezer oh. and then when we heat them the cheese melts in the center and you just go and it's all this cheesy chili mess. It's great. The cornbread muffin thingy. I never thought, like, you know, when you hear you're going to eat your cornbread, <laughs> man, I am going to eat that cornbread. I am going to eat my goddamn cornbread. It's delicious. Yeah, right. And okay. it took the cornbread was the easiest thing out of all of it. It took yeah. like 10 minutes all up. All up. Preparation, cooking, 10 minutes, cornbread, delicious cornbread. It was, mm. in fact, a little bit overcooked. Well, <laughs> I in stupid. fact burnt it. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit crispy. <laughs> um, uh, but the reason why I'm saying this is there's a guy on the internet, uh, on YouTube, uh, He's he's got a website called The Meal Prep Manual. Uh, oh. He's He's got hundreds of free fucking recipes i'm looking at the recipe index right now jalapeno cheddar broccoli bites i know that like you know when you say broccoli in there as well dude it's jalapeno and cheddar like like cheese the, the jalapeno Sounds, poppers made with yeah. fucking broccoli that's um, yeah i'm down chili lemon rice bowls uh honey sriracha rice bowl hidden vegetable butter chicken you know what i mean like it looks like hold on if i look in this butter chicken it says it's 577 calories Takes 20 minutes to prep, 45 minutes to cook, uh, 51 grams of carbs, 41 grams of protein, 23 grams of fats. That's a pretty, that, they're pretty nice macros. Yeah, that is uh, nice and, macros. And it makes five meals. Five meals. And, I don't and, think I'm getting enough carbs at the moment, honestly. Well, I get a decent amount of carbs for my out. breakfast, but <laughs> I don't, I don't have too much carbs after breakfast. Yeah, right. Because I, I have a piece of toast. Yeah, I'll have two pieces of bacon and three eggs. That's yeah. breakfast. Um, lunch is usually uh, if I have my turkey salad sandwich, I get some carbs from the sandwich. Yeah, um, but I had a turkey salad today. Oh, I did. There was there was potato salad, so there was potato. There was carbs. Yeah, that was nice um, yeah. And then dinner is usually a chicken salad, so I don't really have many carbs with with dinner. I would say that. Um, Maybe the reason why the fat loss has been, or the, the weight loss, I should say, has been so dramatic is because you've cut out so many carbs. Like, you, you, I'm guessing your sugar intake is incredibly low. Oh, yeah. And Meg- like, Megalo. I barely have, I have fuck all sugar now. Yeah. And so, actually, so do I. I realized this today. Like, I was starting to get that weird, like, headache mm. from, like, not having, because, like, I'll usually, have like a, I don't know, a random sweet thing. Like I usually have like cordial or something mm. like that. I forgot to have cordial. Sugar free. Oh right, I, I have the weird. I have it with sugar just because calories. But I forgot to <laughs> yeah. drink it. So, yeah, I'm the opposite. I do, I'm yeah. like I yeah. cut out all calories out. Cut it I out. have as little cut calories as possible. Yeah, yeah. because I'm Ooh. trying to lose this belly. You know. Can can I just say? Recent study found that, uh, you know, aspartame. 
um, or a, yeah. a spa time. I don't know how it's, how it's pronounced. Um, phenylalephrine, which is the other <laughs> fake. Phenylalephrine, phenylalephrine. Um, the other fake sugar. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, what's that one? Spirulina. There's, there's yeah, like heaps all of these like artificial, fake sugars. artificial sweeteners. Yeah. yeah, any sort of uh, fake sweetener sort of thing that isn't sugar, the body still treats it as sugar. Did you know oh, that? Oh, really? It still stores it or attempts to store it. And when it can't, it like uh, fucks with your endocrine system somehow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So ideally so, still not drinking sugar-free drinks. Yeah. So there's there's like, you can have, you know, like the Coke Zeros, they're still mm. sweet. Mm. All that sweetener, your body still goes, oh, cool. You've just ingested sugar. It Whatever. still thinks it's like a sugar. Mm. So it, because it, there'd still have to be some sort of, I don't know, sucrose, glucose, who knows what it, whatever's in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and um, then it tries so to you're not it. having the calorie. So the calorie part is still legit, but your body yeah. still treats it like sugar. So it still does the whole process of trying to break it down, store it or do all that sort of stuff, which technically takes away from your body being able to either rest or gain. Yes. So you're killing your gains by drinking a sugar-free drink. A hundred percent. Yeah. You're, I reckon if you're you had probably a small better off amount, just having something, something else. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I still think it's better than having sugar because if your body's still treating it like sugar, but it's not sugar, you still get it's still better than having the sugar, right? Study shows about the same. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which just wow. sucks. Yeah, I, I'll I'll try and find it because um, it was in uh, another random. Uh, it wasn't. I don't think it was a Jeff Nippard video, but it was like another like dude that does like all this. It's like sugar-free thing. energy drinks, all of that stuff. Yeah, it's all it's all garbage. God, that sucks. Yeah, I know. I know. I love them. Yeah, so do I. Oh, now I need to stop drinking them. Well, you don't. That's the thing. Is like it, it's like no, Zach. You don't understand <laughs> because because you got to think of the. There's like an offset, right? Especially with an energy drink, right? Mm. If you you know if you utilize the energy from an energy drink. And you fucking, mm. I'd say, I don't know, I don't know, you utilize it however the fuck you can. Mm. Um, you're still, your calories out will be over the calories in. All right. I'm going back to energy drinks. Sugar free <laughs> energy, energy drinks, drinks are, are back, back on, on the, the menu. <laughs> <laughs> that was the quickest oh, turnaround shit. I've ever heard. Yeah. No, that's yeah. cool. You know what? I'll, yeah. I'm happy to treat it like it's sugar and just and just go with the same that it always has been yeah i um i like today i had an energy drink at the gym while riding like while riding my pushy yeah and then i went and smashed out a chest session yeah i did chest and arms the only thing you should be doing on a monday yeah exactly (laughs) that was my plan today until i realized oh yeah we've got to record yeah Um, fuck i know yeah it's monday everyone hello yeah it's monday not sunday uh we 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 decided uh Sunday, Sunday sucks and uh, Monday's yeah. better. Yeah, um, still Sunday's all right, I guess. Dude, this dude does protein waffles as well. You I've can make made, waffles. I've made protein pancakes. Oh, dude, I had Canadian yeah. pancakes the other day as in Jackie cooked some pikelets with the kids and was like, hey, there's some left over. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want sweet. I want savory. So I cooked yeah. eggs and bacon and just slapped it on top. Yeah. Yeah. And I ate it and it was fucking delicious, man. Oh, brother, these are protein pumpkin muffins. <laughs> right, oh, stop looking at the food. I can't. I love it so much. Yeah, Banana, cinnamon, baked oatmeal. What? Baked oatmeal? Oh, what are you I fucking talking about? I, I really want to do oh, one of the those. shooter. The shooter? Yeah. yeah, yeah. After yeah, having yeah. the shooter from Cafe 69. 69. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, man, do I want oats every day now. Double some chocolate damn brownie baked oatmeal. Oats. Oh man! Uh, you like, could do like a bit of dark chocolate in it too. That would be fucking delicious. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of spring. Like it, you, you know how you got those like micro planes that you do like garlic on. Mm. Um, you just do micro plane like a little bit of dark chocolate over the top of that. That's fantastic. Oh, um, I want oats I, right now. The the whole reason I was like going down the track of like uh, the meal prep sort of stuff mm. was was to basically give this guy a shout out because obviously he's 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 doing pretty well off for himself. Um, 
and he's got like a subscription service so that he can. He doesn't need more help. Fuck that. He guy. does. He doesn't need more help. But this is a thing of like I think everyone should be able to at least uh, well, have Milford a look at this. Doesn't- yeah, yep. I, I tell you this right now. I did the I did the calculations. I did the math, Blake. Ooh. I did the math on how much money each meal was actually costing me. All right. Okay, hit me, hit me. If I get you know all of these things and I I cut them all up and I turn them into one meal, the chili, the chili, you would think thousand calories should be the most expensive, right? It cost me two dollars and sixty seven cents per meal. Man, that's pretty good. Cool. That's including the cornbread and the the actual chili itself. So a thousand calories, uh, and it cost me two dollars two dollars sixty seven cents. The chicken, uh, you know, because it's like chicken thighs uh, mm. and, and rice and shit like that, turned out to be just a little bit more two dollars seventy three. I think it was two dollars seventy two. Nice. per meal, per nice. meal. And and if you're if if you're out there. And you're going to the gut truck every day and spending sixteen dollars on a Dagwood dog or a fucking <laughs> on on a couple of dim sims and a dare ice coffee. You can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, save it. Save all that up. Save save up. To, I don't know. Was it three days of of going to the gut truck and then just do some meal prep on the weekend? It took, mm. as I said, I think it took me like two hours all up. To do uh, twenty meals, which, if I, uh, you know, the way I'm eating, I'm doing two meals a day, so I just mm. take one of each. That's fucking ten days worth of meals. That's two weeks worth of meals. I could literally meal prep and leave it at home. I live so close to home that I could come home, come home. heat up my meal, yeah, put it in the car, drive to gym. It would have cooled down enough for me to eat it at gym, and then I could work out. Yeah, because I do thirty minutes of cardio, so that's enough time for it to settle. Mm. Right, and then also to actually start getting a bit of return from that investment of food. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, to then start smashing out some weights. That's pretty good. That's not a bad idea. I might look at doing some meal prep again. It's been a while since I've done meal prep, but I'm also looking at trying to save money. I'm very conscious of not wasting money now. Oh, I'm sending um, you this link. You're you're going to be like, oh my god, you, you're telling me I can spend fucking a dollar fifty and and make fifty meals or something like that. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's, so, it's talking ridiculous. of um, saving money, how would saving you like to all. win money? Oh my god, Blake! I want to win money <laughs> every day. You know what? I I I work for the government, and I feel like I'm winning every day when I work for the government. I work <laughs> for a non for profit, and I and I feel like I also just get given money. Would Sometimes also, I feel like I'm winning <laughs> gift cards. <laughs> we, um, at the, at the, would you also <laughs> like to be gifted money? Just Blake, yeah, I want to be gifted. I want to be given free money. Wouldn't you love to be? How how does a hundred dollars sound? Yes, give it to me now. Would you like a hundred dollars? Well, Zach, what, you'll have to enter our giveaway. What do I have to do? <laughs> Zach, you'll have to enter our giveaway. Okay, <laughs> what do I have to do? How do I enter this that, giveaway, that, guys? Zach, uh, uh, do you if this, this is a thinly veiled attempt to fucking get you to understand what's going on. Okay, this is this is we're acting. This is acting. Zach, right. would you, would you like to win a hundred dollars? I'd love to win a hundred dollars. How do I well, do it? Do you, you, you see the link in the description of this and or not this video? <laughs> And the video or not and, this audio. And actually, it will also be in the um uh it's gonna be in episode everything. descriptions. Yes. It'll be in the Okay, so essentially 100% it's just, it is. It's you literally can just click a raffle. The links. You can click the links. If you're in Spotify, you can click the links in the description and head over to enter. It's literally just a form. You just put in your email and because because it needs email. Um, and if we we need some way to fucking contact you to send you this money. Yeah. So email right. and name. That's all. So if you click the link right now, it, if you're on Spotify, we're we're still talking, and you're you're sitting there filling out your email, and you're like, you man, know? I am one of the like six people that listen to this podcast. <laughs> so I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna click this link, and I've got a one in six chance of winning a hundred dollars. Those are yeah. pretty good odds. You know what? Make a couple of fake accounts. <laughs> you're fucking set. Hey, look! Don't give the people any ideas. Oh here. man, we need to I, be legit. Could I rig this? All right. <laughs> I think I think there is. I think it is IP block, so you can't you can't just make a shitload of accounts. Are you sure it is? I think it's just email block. Blake, anyway. I'm bluffing. Oh shit! <laughs> um, 
<laughs> it's Don't worry, I'll bleep all this it's out. It's even hardware Ben blocked. It's, yeah, just like Tarkov. <laughs> yeah, love that game. No, oh, in man. all seriousness, uh, yeah. for our hundredth episode, which will be maybe live. Uh, don't know about that yet. Eight, uh, but what, it will eight be episodes? It, nine episodes. Eight, 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 nine eight, episodes. I think. Scanning. Um, we <laughs> will be in person recording it, and we will uh, on the day we'll pick a winner. Nine episodes away. Uh, Blake will be sitting right there where yeah. Winston is asleep and I'll be sitting right there, right next to him. Yeah. And we're uh, we're going to be in this house talking to you, not live, but live to your ears on Thursday at 9 o'clock on yeah. April, uh, I think it was April 16th. Whenever our 100th uh, episode is. Which is, uh, sorry, April 14th. Look, if you want to win a hundred bucks, why not? Why wouldn't you win it? It's seriously, we're just gonna, we're literally just gonna give you a hundred dollars. Like, there's no. Give you a hundred dollars. You want a hundred dollars? No, I'll, I'll give you a hundred dollars. You just got. All you got to do is give me your goddamn email address and your phone and your name and your name. Because we're just. We're, I'll give you a hundred dollars. I'll give you a hundred dollars. We're literally just PayPaling it, right? Yeah, it's PayPal, a hundred dollars straight to the winner. All we're gonna do is we've got like a little. Uh, we'll we'll do it like on the show so that we just run a little prize wheel you know the little oh, yeah. randomizer wheel yeah bing and then we we pick the name if that doesn't work we'll pick a name from a fucking hat yeah um but yeah Un- unless there's thousands of entries unless i'd be surprised if there was could you imagine to having to <laughs> deal be, with that i'd be really surprised if there was i you know i'd i'd be surprised if there was like 10 entries um, Prove us wrong. That's right. You have such a, a high chance of winning if you just dollars. enter. <laughs> so give us your email dollars. address, and 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 then you can uh, you two can be listening to whatever album you Keep want. Passing on the because you we can, need their name. The name of what? Them. We need their name. You're like, oh, give yeah. me your email address. Email it's address. Like, no, we need the name, name too. <laughs> it we doesn't have to be a name. full name. You can just be like uh, uh, M Smith. You know what I mean? That'll work, right? No, put your full name in there. We're the only ones who see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you don't know who we are. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I'm a very suspicious person. I don't trust myself with my own name. I, I don't trust the government. We just I want to give away $100. Stop yeah. making it weird. So give us <laughs> your email address. <laughs> Looking at this, them dead in the eyes, like <laughs> I need your. I need. There's one email address I need, and I'm making. I'm gonna get it one way or another. I'm gonna make sure I get that specific email name. address. I want Zach, your is, email address, it, and <laughs> and then I want to give you a hundred dollars if you win, because it's a giveaway. It is a prize giveaway for the hundredth episode of the podcast. That's one dollar per episode, Blake. Did you know that? Yeah, that's exactly why we. That's why we did it, and also like because we're poor, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to give away $1,000. I don't have $1,000. I don't have $1,000 to give away. I don't have $1,000 for myself. But we definitely have $50 spare each um, yeah, in, in about this. two months' time. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'm sure I'll have a spare 50 by then. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. my God. And, okay, and then, so and you know, what, you know what, what, would you do with a, what would you do with $100, Blake? If you were just to get $100 right now, boom. I'd probably just invest it. I'm not going to oh. lie. All right, well, ask me what I would do with... What would you do with $100? I'd probably buy something uh, music-related. Oh, is it a CD? Speaking of music, Blake... Oh. <laughs> no, I wouldn't buy a CD. I'd probably also CD's invest nuts. in... CD's <laughs> <laughs> I walked okay. right into it. Uh, wait, <sighs> let's go. Man, um, that... <laughs> You know when something like just just makes you go, man, that happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that happened. You can't, um, brother. Yeah. Ooh, I'm getting um, glasses soon. These glasses are also fucked. Um, we oh. listened to trash. That's <laughs> the biggest you know snooze what? fest. You know what? Did you give it another go? <sighs> yeah, I did. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I gave it two goes, and and both goes were. I I didn't even yeah. notice. I didn't even notice it playing. Wow. Yeah. What have you completely turned around on it? No. <laughs> God no. <laughs> God no. I listened to this. 
like today specifically because I knew that we were going to record today. So I was like, hmm. I better get it fresh in my head. Uh, oh, I didn't do. I didn't even do that. My God, did I not need it? Um, did, we listen to Porter Robinson's Nurture. N- yeah, Nurture. It's- Boring as hell. Nurture these it's nuts, really, Paul Robinson. It's really, uh, like slow. You know what? You know what the thing is though, like all of the elements that he uses, yeah. sound really cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, like the the instrument choices that he made and the, yeah, the actual choices of like the ambient sound and the drums and yeah, and the like, vocals. Yeah, it the all effects really he's using, nice. like yeah. all together make for what should come together when you got like really good sample selection, really good instrument selection, really good uh, effects choices that you've made, you know, and and automation. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. when you go, I've got all of these really cool ideas and I've, I've shoved them all together and then all you do is put people to fucking sleep for an hour. Oh, dude, it was boring as hell. It was so boring. You know, you know what he does have a really good handle on? Using white noise. Yeah, um, look, it's... uh, He uses white noise for, like, every track. Every track, (laughs) white noise. And you know what white noise does to my kids? Puts them to sleep. You know what it does to me? Puts me to sleep. I I, I listen to white noise to go to sleep because I have horrible tinnitus. But but you know what also... I struggle every day. (laughs) All I hear right now is... (laughs) Um, It's actually like a... um, it is like a, it's like a really high pitch white noise. It's really strange. I can hear my tinnitus. Um, <laughs> that, that sucks. I'm so sorry for you. No, it's fine. The army's going to give me like 50k. <laughs> the army's giving me money. It's okay. It, it, it makes also, everything worth like, it. It probably doesn't help that I like also listen to music pretty loud when I'm driving with the window down everywhere. So I'm listening to card. Anyway. I'm not going to go into it. Yeah, anything's, is, more, anything's more exciting than... Logistics <laughs> is more exciting than this album, okay? <laughs> this... Look, I, so I, will, I will say this. I will say this. When... It, if you were to listen to this album and do nothing else, you will, you will, like... Fall asleep? You will fall asleep. That's great. If I want to go to sleep... Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think I, I don't know what this album was supposed to convey. Neither do I. I, I was like, I, I was like listening could, to it, and I'm like, there's some be... tracks. There's some tracks that are like, yeah, it's got like a, you know, yeah, that that's cool. Yeah. But it was, it sounded like everything was just so soft. Um, everything was really strangely like distorted. But when I said like when he when I said he knows how to use like a lot of white noise with everything. It was like the kicks, the snares, hi hats, fucking any sort of instrument was just sort of coated in white noise. So when there was a kick, it would be this long kick, but it would be really like crunchy. So it always seemed like it was really distorted. And which when I listen to like really distorted, hard hitting kicks, you think of like trap or dubstep or fucking, yeah. um, uh, rhythm sort of stuff or like you know Ooh, you, yeah. you, you know what I mean like those those big like punch and kicks some and some like hip hop like the hard hitting uh, hip hop stuff um, but for this like soft kicks with like white noise and distortion was like it was just being like bit crushed in a way uh, and it just uh, sounded weak the, the snare sounded weak, weak. <laughs> It was, it was, you know what, you know what this is? Being um, hit in the face with a silk pillow. Yeah. By a yep. fucking kid that is like, I don't know, dumb. <laughs> Just a Being dumb smothered kid. by an anti smother pillow. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh, <coughs> oh and yeah, I mean, this is not the worst thing. I still it's, breathe. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can sit here comfortably <laughs> for a while. Yeah, I'll probably <laughs> fall asleep. So. Probably fall asleep from this, <laughs> you know, anti smother pillow because you know the higher carbon dioxide rates. Um, I'm not going to die, but I'll probably fall asleep. You, you know what? I I don't want to go on and on about this album because I feel like if there's anyone out there that actually <sighs> listened to, it, yeah, look, it's already put in your sleep. Yeah. <laughs> if there was anyone out there that was actually listening to this album and thought, "Why the hell did we do that?" 
we don't know, man. <laughs> we thought we were doing the right thing. Um, Porter Robinson's usually pretty fucking good, yeah. you know. You know what's you know what's good though is we are uh, actually before before we move on. Uh, what's your rating, Blake? I know it's it's, it's, it's a meh out of five. Yeah, it's, it's a, a meh. <laughs> it's it's a I out of fucking ten. I'd rather have sleep apnea than listen to it again. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'd rather not be able to breathe and choke out myself in my sleep. I'd rather than, um... stop breathing for like a minute, 40 seconds and then wake up in the middle of the night gasping for air. <laughs> Freak out. <laughs> um, yeah. That's literally what I do. That's that's what I used to do. Anyway. I'm, I'm never going to listen to this album again. You know, and, nope. and when you said, oh, we should have fucking listened to you. When you said, let's just listen to Worlds, because you know what I did straight after listening to Nurture? How Put on Worlds. Worlds. And how I was like, what? The, what? How does he make such a fucking banger of an album like Spitfire and Worlds? And then he's like, you know what would be cool? If I just uh, did, I don't know, the dumbest fucking album of my life. Fuck you, Paul. Is there any hits off of Nurture? There's not, right? Not really. Like nothing in his no. top song. There's, you know, the 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 one where I, I think it's the chick singing. There's there's one with like I, I don't even know her name. Some chick singing, mm. and it's like a bit of a, like a bit of a, uh, like a like a like a, what do you call it? What's that? What's that? Wave bounce. future future bounce future wave sort of thing. Sort of like that. Real arp, arpeggiated sort of strings. Um, I, I'm getting strings, bored to tears listening to this. Exactly. Exactly. Because it is boring. Yeah, it's boring. And you know what? As, as look, much of a to, banger to, as it is, it's not. It's fucking just to slow. Rate, just to give it a number, it's five. It's not bad. It's music. It's music. It's boring. It's music. Yeah, that's exactly it. It's five. It's not, it's it's not, not bad. It's not bad. It's, it's not just, good. It's just boring. Yeah. This is something... You know what this is? This is... Um, have you ever had iced tea from Moss Burger? Oh wow! Uh, probably. Yeah, it is. You know what it is? I've been to Mossberg in a thousand fucking years. It's fucking. It's just liquid that you put in your mouth. Gross. It sustains you. <laughs> it's not good. It's not bad. It'll sustain you though. Yeah, wait. It'll give you some calories and you'll yep. quench a little bit of thirst. Yep. That's it. Not good. Wow, that it's not bad. Fucking horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Can we stop talking about this horrible, <laughs> boring album? Let's move on, Blake. Thank God. Thank Let's move on. Christ. Now, after leaving the gym on Saturday, you tried to hit me up and you were like, we need to listen to uh, this no. specific <laughs> band that There's has a specific song. song. There's one song. <laughs> and you're song. like, it's definitely by the specific band that I am saying. Uh, and it, it wasn't. wasn't. No, it, it wasn't. wasn't. But you know what? We're going to listen to both of these bands. I really like that song. Yeah, we're going to listen to both. <laughs> I really like that song. So the song, right, we're going to start off. I'm going to stop saying this specific band and this specific song. Um, you thought System of a Down had a song called Thoughts or Thoughtless? Thoughtless. Thoughtless. It's Thoughtless, but it's by Korn. By Korn. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to listen to uh, a System of a Down album. And then uh, next week, we're going to listen to a Korn album. Yes. And then the week after that, because we've planned this out, we're listening to Lil Wayne. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're listening to a Lil Wayne album. It's going to be sick. So, you know. Lil Wheezy. Yeah, Lil Wheezy. Um, and, you know, you know what? You know what's funny? Is I got mixed up. I got mixed up Lil Wayne with Lil John <laughs> so much. <laughs> Just like me with Corn and System, apparently. <laughs> yeah, because I, I think. When nice. I said Lil Wayne, the first thing I did was, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. Lil John. <laughs> yeah, that is Lil John. Yeah. Um, yeah, so big dumb. Lil Wayne don't eat sushi. I didn't know that. And he's not lying. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're referencing. but Referencing lyrics from Lil Wayne, that's all. Wouldn't know. I've never he, listened lyrics, to a Lil Wayne His lyrics are album. literally, I don't eat sushi. I'm not playing. Oh, I ain't lying. Something like that. Am I gonna like this album? Like, like first of all, we're gonna get there because the first—I don't know—we didn't like Porter Robinson. <laughs> out of out of all of these, um, we are gonna to listen to 
Steal This Album. Oh, cool. By System I of a Down. I couldn't remember which one it was. I just made it up on the spot. Oh, nice. Okay. Because <laughs> um, I, I was, we talked I was about like, a few albums. Yeah, I, I think we were looking at like Hypnotize or Mesmerize or something like that. I think and I was like, if we cut out both of them and we go to Steal This Album, um, which was, I think, after both of them or before, I think it was just before. I don't know. I love, I love them. I love these, uh, this album. It's a good album. Yeah. I like System. Yeah. Bubbles. Sewed. Mm. Sewed. Yeah. So ad. So ad. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, this week, album of the, uh, in the album club, album of the week, guys, everyone listening, we're going to be listening to System of Downs, steal this album, and and deal with it, all right? Because next week we're going to listen to Corn and whatever album has Thoughtless on it. Do you know what album it is? Uh, I think it was un- some some anniversary. Wish wish wish. I don't know, man. Yeah, we'll I don't know. Maybe we won't. Like, I will listen to like their best album because we're not going to listen to another Corn album probably. That's so good. We'll just go for the, We'll just go for their best album. Like, yeah. the, I think we're more likely to listen to another System album than we are another Corn album. Yeah, it's a good I just point. didn't really listen to much corn. I just like that one song. <laughs> yeah. Corn. Yeah. I was like thoughtless. It's always in my head. Like I, it's, it's a song that lives in my head rent free. You know, when people say what song lives in your head rent free, it's thoughtless. It is all. And it's funnily enough because it's called thoughtless. It is always in my head. <laughs> always. Every single day. How be at least ironic. One point. I know. How I ironic. I fucking know. You're telling me. Literally. Wow. I'll just be sitting there. But dude. And I'm like, oh, the fucking song. Every oh. day. It's something to do with the drums. Mm. And it's just a very, like, a very, what's the word? It's just really nice. <laughs> it's just a really nice, satisfying is the word. It's a satisfying, just little intro thing into the drums, which then just hit really hard and it's really nice. Can I just say? We're derailing. We always do. That's all <laughs> we do. Quickly. Our entire derail. podcast is us derailing. That's all. That's, that's, that's what point. the people come here for. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a what, really good point. Yeah. Just like. Um, it's for, what they, they're like. I bet you they're playing bingo of like how many like. Oh, they've derailed seven times. That's oh, a fucking bingo. They've gone down another little rabbit hole. Oh, they've they've said logistic. <laughs> this is a good story. Logistic story <laughs> nightmares. <laughs> Um, well, Blake, just to go down another rabbit hole, how, how many raw packets of like how many packets of sugar do you, do you get the raw packet like the packets of sugar no. at your work? Oh yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Because we I work in aged care. Yeah. Do you yes. use them in your no. coffee? You don't put sugar in your coffee anymore, do you? No. Because I found out an even better. No, no, no. I was just I was like because I've got I've got like these ones as well. I've got heaps of them. Um, All right. But I've got like a bag of them at work because like no one brings in sugar. There's no like a jar of sugar at work. So I've got like these um, like packets. I just found a heap of packets in the transport cell. Right. And because, you know, so this is the thing in army. Um, when you're told you're going to go and learn how to drive a car, you get put on a course, right? And you get paneled on course with a whole heap of other people that also need to learn how to drive whatever vehicle it is. Sure. So transport cell says, okay, cool. We're going to have 10 people, right? We also need to figure out where we're going, which is probably going to need like, we need to go to some area and drive around that area. We also need yep. to figure out food. Okay. So we'll get them. Okay, cool. Well, let's bring your own lunch or we'll get meals provided by the mess. Then it's, oh, well, they also need like coffee, tea and sugar and milk and chill like that, right? We'll just hit the mess up. The transport cell, I know this for a fact, transport cell gets like boxes of individual sugar packets, right? Boxes. Yeah. And like, and, and, and individual coffee packets and tea. And yeah. they'll get those like little milks sometimes. But yep. you, more than likely, they'll get like fresh two liters of milk, right? So I went in and I was just like, give me a whole box of these. <laughs> <laughs> I took like a box, man, of these individual sugars. And I was like, and I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get like little Ziploc bags and just chuck a couple in there, zip it up. And then I can just take that to work. And that'll be my like sugar for yeah. like fucking a month. You know what yeah. I mean? Because yeah. I, I put in two sugars per coffee and I'll probably have like, I don't know, two coffees a day. So I have... 
I don't know what it, whatever that is. I think uh, what a teaspoon of fucking sugar is sixteen calories, right? So it's great. Um, is that all? Yeah, yeah. Remember we looked this up one day. Oh. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, I now have these these like little. I have like a whole big stash of these like singular um, sugars, and and I felt okay. like I felt like a real like sneaky uh you know thief man i was like yes i'm finally getting it back from the government i'm gonna take this box of sugar okay the the, the transport woe came in and he's like oh you're getting some sugar and then just like walked off <laughs> <laughs> he's, a good bug. he's like he probably has like i don't know boxes of sugar and coffee and tea at home and he's just yeah. like oh well the, no, this course didn't like Th- that's the thing is they have to get it every course they have to get their allotment their entitlement of coffee tea and sugar and and if it doesn't get used well too bad the next time a course gets run they have to get it again otherwise they eventually will lose their entitlement to coffee tea and sugar oh yeah you need to spend it otherwise you don't get it yeah that's I know it that. Yeah, that's it. So you tell me. So you're telling me this long-winded story was yeah. to tell me that you stole sugar from the government. Yep, I stole <laughs> I stole a box of individual sugars. <laughs> wow, and and it's it doesn't stop there. I now have started stealing everything from the government, um, mm. like uh, time theft. <laughs> wow. <So. laughs> I hope everyone realizes this is satire, but I tell you, this is all is satirical. Right? This is all oh, a joke. Definitely. But, but there's there's boxes of batteries, double A batteries. Okay, <laughs> they come in forty packs. They're about this big, right? Let me guess, Little you've got a few of them. So, uh, no, that's a joke. I don't know. Oh. Man. I didn't take like four boxes from last <laughs> units. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, but, yeah, Zach, you're a yeah. jokester. You're oh, a just, jokester. I know, it's a funny. It's a funny thing to say. What a funny <laughs> joke! Uh, you want some? I batteries? think we're done here. Yeah. I think <laughs> we're done batteries? here. I think we're done. Panasonic <laughs> double A's. <laughs> oh, Arlo's trying to get in the door. I think we're done. Oh shit! All right, cut it off. Let's let's end the pod here. How, All how right. about that? Um, yeah. Uh, guys, thank you so much for listening. If you want to see... Have a, we're about to have a special guest on the podcast. Oh, really? Do you want to wrap it up? Hang on. Wrap it up. All right. Wrap, wrap it up for us. All right, I'm wrapping it up. Wrap up the podcast. Guys, oh. thank you so much for listening. My name is Switchblades for Kids, the other half of the podcast. My name is Blake Bentley, and I have a little Arlo with me. Who little little man. He's, he's awake. He's um, awake. If you want to see more of Blake Bentley, oh, sorry, if you want to listen to more of the podcast or see more of the podcast, make sure you check us out on uh, YouTube to watch the video, um, which would greatly help us out because there are people watching the fucking YouTube. It's just great. Um, yeah, now, now, now here's a reason to see this cute little child. That's right. Yeah. Jump Come on the see YouTube this cute right child. now. Go and say good day to Arlo. Hello, Arlo. Hello. You should see me. He's going he's gonna to wave. <laughs> um, is, is he going to wave? You going to wave? Yep, there All we right, go. Yeah, works. nice. Um, so, yeah, and uh, make sure you check out our, our upcoming shorts. That'll be uh, in the shorts channel on our shorts channel. Yep, it will podcast. be happening. Yeah. It will be happening. Um, if you want to see more of Blake Bentley, make sure you hit him up on all of his social medias, especially TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, because he is on his weight loss journey. Welcome um, to my journey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, um, and uh, yeah, definitely. Um, make sure yeah, you like, subscribe, share, and follow. Do all the buttons and click all the dinglings and uh, help, you, help him out. Um, and if you want to see more of myself, Switchblades for Kids, all one you, word. You definitely do want to see more of Zach. Thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, also check us both out on Spotify. Uh, we definitely have songs up and new, new material being released uh, yearly at least. Um, uh, uh, there is also a new YouTube this channel. This kid that- is really interrupted. This ain't even- <laughs> That's fine. We'll, cu- we'll cut this. We can cut this. That's fine. No, it's fine. It's good. Yeah, we'll just leave it in. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. I don't care. Yeah. Continue. Um, there was also a new YouTube channel out, uh, but it's it's mainly just for 
I know my side of the house called the Crash Scav. The crack oh, definitely scav. check it out. It's really good. It's really good content. It's yeah. shorts based on Tarkov, but they're really good. Yeah, that's right. If you enjoy a little bit of Tarkov content, uh, one minute shorts, and they're just they're just you know, I liked editing and I like uh, you know it's not fun. talking and funny for once, and they're good. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's a win-win. Um, it takes you like 30 to 60 seconds to watch this thing and to yeah. drop a like. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. We'll put put the link in the in the in the show notes and the description and the bio. Do it all. We'll put all, all of the links yeah. in there. Can do. Um, link in description. Just another reminder: make sure you enter our hundred dollar giveaway for our hundredth yeah. episode. Uh, the the link a for that for is every definitely in the description. All you need is to uh, enter your email and your name, and then we will be drawing that out on uh, the episode will be available uh, in April. Sorry, one, one moment. April 14th. 14th. Sorry, April there we go. 13th. April 14th. April 13th is the Thursday. April 13th. Oh, 13th. April yeah. 13th. April 13th. That's when April you'll be able to 13th. figure out if you won or not. Yes, because we will have recorded sooner pre previously, but yeah. that's when it gets aired and that's when we send you the money. Boom! You um, want a hundred bucks? That's how you get it. All right, you going, kid? Right, <laughs> See you, Arlo. You know, no, he's come back. All right, excellent. Well, uh, that's, let's wrap it. That, that's, that's us. Gonna that's us wrapped up. Do it for us here at the podcast. Yes, um, the podcast where we're definitely family friendly <laughs> <laughs> uh, make sure you tune in next week for our 92nd episode 8 episodes away from our 100th episode <laughs> the uh, end of this is scuffed a car just like an old V8 clap that box just like slammed his way down the road as well Arlo's laughing it's right next off. to the it's, we need to go we, let's just cut yeah. it we, we'll see you next Thursday. Yeah, see you next Thursday. Bye. And see you next Thursday. <laughs> Bye.